And hey, welcome back into our coverage of this one. It's the Apple Sox against the Ben Dalks as they open up a three-game set tonight at Paul Thomas Senior Stadium. I'm Joel Norman, and we're joined now by Apple Sox outfielder Josh Williams, who had himself a great road trip, 11 runs driven in over those six games. But for you guys, Josh, a tough ending to the trip with the series with Victoria. A lot of close games in there. You guys just couldn't quite get them. Does that kind of fuel the fire for you guys heading back home here with a new opportunity taking on Ben tonight? Yeah, 100%. I mean, we just... I mean, we're all just ready to go out and compete today. I mean, after dropping three against Victoria, um, I mean, it's just going to be a good day to come out and compete and hopefully end the day 1-0. It's a long road trip, too. I think there's no uh, confusing that. The road trips are fun. They bring the group together. But probably by day six, it's a little bit tougher. How nice is it to wake up at least in a little bit more familiar place right now now in Wenatchee? Yeah, it was great. I mean, especially not having to share, share a bed with anyone and just having a good night's rest. But, yeah, it's good to be back. It's going to be two weeks of home games coming up here for this team. It's a lot of home stretch. How do you guys try to break up maybe that stagnant feeling that could kind of come about at some point? If, you know, another day, who are we playing? Doesn't even, you know, how do you break that up over the course of these next two weeks? Um, I feel like just taking every day, day by day, is definitely the best thing to, like, break it up in terms of just, like, getting stagnant and stuff. Because you, you, if you go every day thinking, all right, let's just win today, and then either you win or you lose regardless if you just can – go out saying that you competed I mean that's all that really matters for you as we mentioned 11 runs driven in on this past road trip a lot of that thanks to the long ball of course the three home runs it was something that was being talked about you know you had six last summer we knew it was going to come at some point and boy you got hot on that trip to Nanaimo what was clicking for you over the course of that series especially um I think the main thing that was just clicking was just uh, keeping myself more relaxed. I felt like I was just trying too hard in the box. Uh, my intensity level was just going up and it just caused my swing to become more stiff. And so I just felt myself a, little, a lot more relaxed in that series. You feel any anything made more relaxed about batting third more regularly now? There was a stretch where you were hitting leadoff for a while, you moved to third, kind of back to leadoff, but last week or so you've been the regular number three hitter. Are you feeling more comfortable in that spot, you think? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, I think I've said this on another interview, but I mean, where you hit in the lineup is kind of based off of what your job for the day is. I mean, hitting leadoff, you're just going to see pitches and stuff, and especially if you're leading off the whole game, you want to be able to see as many pitches as you can for the rest of the lineup. Uh, but hitting three Real, you're definitely trying to do more, a little more damage and stuff like that. But yeah. let's talk about your grand slam again from this past Thursday. First of the season by any Apple Sox hitter. Uh, that's a situation you were having a tough day before that, but you, you know it's you clearly put all of that behind you as you came up to the plate and hit that one over the, the tall wall out in right field. Not an easy task to do at Soroxman Stadium, but you got it done. Take me through that. How do you reset at the plate late in the game, regardless of whether you've had a great day or a tough day to that point? Um, I mean. Obviously, I was 0 for 4 with four strikeouts right before, but I mean, I was just trying to take it one at bat at a time and not really, I didn't want to bring any other previous at bats into that bat that I was in. So that's the one thing that I kind of was thinking about doing. And also in that bat, in that at bat in particular, I was just trying to be more relaxed at the plate. You felt that led to an easy swing there. You just yeah. crushed it over the wall, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that on Friday. You almost had another home run. That would have been four for you in three days when you had that opportunity on a ball that was hit out to right field. I don't know if it was the wind that held up. It was a little breezier the next night, I felt like. But, boy, you were inches away on that one. Did you think off the bat that ball was going to go about as far as it did, or do you think it might have gone farther? Um, I didn't think it was going to get all the way to the track or even close to the wall. I felt like I got a little jammed, but I just kept carrying and carrying. I see the right fielder getting closer and closer to the wall. I'm like, oh, this, this might get out. But, I mean, still scored a run. But, yeah, it was a good swing. Great series for you guys offensively against the Nanaimo with the 35 runs only eight runs in the three-game series against Victoria. As a collective group, what do you have to do better this week against Ben? Um, I feel like we need to just not let our opposing pitchers get into a groove. I felt like there were times throughout the series where we would just go three up, three down, or like four up and three down, whatever, and just let the pitcher control the at-bats and control how we were taking our at-bats. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, Josh, we appreciate the time. Best of luck here tonight. Let's see a home run at home. What do you say? Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's Josh Williams, Apple Sox outfielder, joining us. And we'll have more to come here from Paul Thomas Senior Stadium in just a moment.